So I know why you clicked on this video. You're looking for an easy way to clean your roof. Well, I'm about to show you an easy solution to make your roof look almost brand new all over again. Just so you know who you're getting advice from, my name is Zach Blinkensop. I'm a U.S. Navy veteran, active duty eight and a half years, and now I'm a general contractor in nine states, and I have my roofing license in over nine states. I also do work all the way from Billy up the street for the United States government. So I just wanna make sure when you watch a video from Digital Roofing Innovations, you understand that we're qualified, and also I'm gonna show you the absolute easiest way to get something done. Okay, so I promised you I'd show you how to clean your roof, and before we hop into this, I want you to let you know my roof is gonna be clean that we're gonna hop on, and it's because I cleaned that once a year. So all my neighbors always comment that said, Zach, do you have some kind of special shingles on your roof because your roof always stays clean? Well, no, that's because I do maintenance on it once a year and make sure that you know I don't have a bad roof. You know, Lord knows the roofing contractor in the neighborhood doesn't need to have a bad roof. So I'm gonna show you how to do this with just simple household chemicals and a way to keep your roof looking great for years. So the first thing you need is just a simple sprayer. Uh, most of you guys have this around the house. If not, you can just pick one up for 20 bucks. Uh, mine's just a Roundup sprayer that I use. Um, obviously I use it for a lot of things, but mainly uh, I use it to clean my roof. Uh, secondly, I have some bleach to make sure you wanna get some heavy duty bleach, something that's uh, purity, uh, almost pure bleach and then just some simple dish detergent. Um, we have Dawn, but it can be any type of dish detergent. What you really wanna use the dish detergent for is it helps build up the viscosity of the formula. And if you have a roof like mine, that's only like a 412 pitch, and if you don't know how to get a pitch on your roof, we have a video on how to get the pitch of your roof. It's not really, really important for this, but it will help. Uh, so you can look through our videos if you wanna get the pitch on your roof. But what we normally want to do is have a right formula for this. So the formula we're going to use is off a two gallon sprayer. And so it's very simple. So a two gallon sprayer, we're going to put in one gallon of, it could be moderately warm to hot water. You don't want to scald yourself, uh, but obviously warm water normally works the best. Uh, you're going to use almost a gallon of bleach and then put in two ounces of uh, your dish detergent. Now, if you have a very high pitch roof, you may want to put three ounces of dish detergent or maybe four, uh, because what that's going to do is make it a little bit more viscous and it's going to settle a little bit more when you put this on the roof. If you have one like mine, it's a really low pitch, you can get away with just using bleach and water, but I like to add in just a little bit of uh, dish detergent. So basically it's a 50 50 mix with a little bit of dish detergent. Okay guys, so right now in my sprayer, all I have is water. So what, the first thing we're gonna do is just spray everything down outside with just water. So again, the reason we're doing this is we are gonna be using bleach upon the roof and we're gonna be using a little bit of dish detergent. Both of those things can cause damage to your vegetation if you're not careful. You also make, wanna make sure any pets are up before you get started. I have mine uh, here to help right now. And so what you wanna do with your nozzles, you wanna go ahead and turn this on a fan, if that you have that option, but you don't wanna just spray everything with a hard stream. So you just wanna spray everything out. Because remember, we are basically putting pollution because some of this is gonna get on the ground. So I'm lucky in my yard, I don't have any uh, bushes or uh, really any plants or anything on the outside. If you do, you wanna make sure that you spray all that down with water before we get started. Remember, the solution to pollution is dilution. Okay, so we've already pumped this up, so we're just gonna go ahead and start spraying water all around the house. If you have a garden hose, uh, this got a little bit more pressure, you can go ahead and use that. But we just wanna go ahead and spray water all around the house. Again, any vegetation, if it's any trees or anything that's gonna be in the way, you wanna make sure you go ahead and get water on that before you get started. We 
you may have noticed, my clothes have changed. Well, that's because one of the beauties of doing outside work and shooting these videos outside is you still can't predict the weather. So we kind of ran out of sunlight last time and a rainstorm came, which was great because we got all the product on the roof, but you couldn't really see it in the video and then it washed it all off. So that's why the roof looks, well, nice and clean right now. So we're gonna redo this portion of the video and we're gonna start off with this broom here. So we've already rinsed everything down. We're up here with our chemical. Now this broom, particularly if you have moss, is great to use. Now, if you've got a really steep pitch roof and you can't come up here to sweep, that's not a problem. You could go straight to the chemical. But if you do have a broom, what you're gonna do is we're gonna brush off all the debris on the roof that we can. So we don't have to worry about any extra debris. And then we're also, if you're someone who has a lot of moss on your roof, you wanna go ahead and get all this moss off by sweeping. Right, so you want to sweep off any moss that you have and get that off first. What do you want to use is a pretty hard bristle uh, broom, but you don't want to be using something so hard that you're actually going to start taking the granules off your roof. So something that's, uh, like I use a shop broom is a great thing to use. So we're just gonna go ahead and sweep down the whole roof. So you're gonna do this down the whole thing, remove all the debris. Now, once you have all the debris off, you're gonna go ahead and go ahead and go to your chemical. Now I've already pre-mixed this, so again, we're using a one-in-one -one combination with our water, warm water, and and our bleach, and then we're also adding in a little bit of dish detergent, somewhere between two to four ounces. So once this is charged up, we're gonna make sure that this is in the fan mode. Now, when you're applying this, it's very, very important to try to keep as little as possible off the ground. Because remember, even though we put water on the vegetation we don't want to get it necessarily wet with this stuff a little bit's okay but when you start make sure that your wand is where you're just going to coat the outside of this roof all the way down so you can go ahead and start an area and go all the way down and then you can turn it and again you're not wanting to completely saturate your shingles you're just wanting to get them good and wet you want it fairly uniform, but again, you don't have to soak this. Something like this is just fine. Now keep in mind, we're not just getting the moss off the roof, we're also getting any streaks. Uh, some of these old roofs out there, that's just got a ton of streaking on it and you don't know how to clean it. This is exactly what this is for, okay? So again, you're gonna do this on the entire part of the roof. And so it's probably not gonna work on your first time. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna spray everything down, right? You swept it, sprayed it down. When you get off the roof, make sure the last part that you sweep, uh, last, last part that you put your chemical down on is right by the ladder so you're not walking on a wet roof. Spray everything down with the water again, all your vegetation. Wait for a rainstorm. Once rain comes, go ahead and come back on your roof, see what it looks like. Most of the time this takes two treatments, particularly if you're using bleach water and dish detergent. While it's a great option, uh, most of the time it's gonna take a couple of uh, a couple of attempts. So you're gonna do the same thing all over again for the second time. And after the second rainstorm, if you go up on your roof, I guarantee you it's gonna be a hundred times better than it was before. Now, if you're a homeowner that has a lot of moss on your roof and it continues to grow or you have a lot of algae, I'm about to show you a way to almost completely eradicate you having any moss on your roof going forward. Now, any of you that have a newer roofing system, you may have what's called a ridge van. So this ridge van is just a piece of plastic with ridge cap over the top of it. But whether you have ridge van or not, you definitely have a ridge. And so the way that you can almost completely eradicate having moss on your roof or algae is to put a strip of zinc or copper, whatever is gonna look better on your roof or you can find, right along the top here, okay? So if I was installing it on this roof, we obviously have nails driven in here. I'd be putting it right along the line here of my ridge vent. And then you're just gonna gently nail it down and you wanna make sure that you go back and seal the top of those nail heads with some type of sealant or construction adhesive. 
If you don't, you could perhaps have a leak. So you want to make sure if you're the one doing this yourself, homeowners, make sure you go and put adhesive right over the top of those nail holes. But all you're going to do is run that all along your ridge vent. If you're having it grow on both sides, go ahead and put it on both sides. Most likely it's probably going to be on one side of your roof. So installing that, basically what happens is when rainwater hits this, it's going to interact with the metal and there's just going to be a tiny bit of runoff from that metal that's going to come with your water and it completely eliminates moss growing on your roof. I know it sounds crazy, but I promise it works. <clears throat> well, I was trying to make sure I talk loud enough you can hear me. Down here in Alabama in the summertime, especially in the afternoons, we get a lot of the creepers out there that really start making a lot of noise. So I hope you can hear the video well. If you enjoyed the video and you feel this helps you out a lot, please give us a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos on how to improve your home or if you're a junior contractor in the industry or a salesman in the industry, please subscribe. We've got a lot of great content coming out. And remember, Digital Roofing Innovations, we believe in using a modern approach with traditional values. Have a great day.